Welcome to the Make course, I'm Rudy Schlaf. This tutorial is about using a basic IR obstacle or line detection sensor with the Arduino. I will discuss how to connect the sensor to the Arduino and I will also give a brief introduction into how it works. This here is a schematic of this uh, sensor module. Uh, we have here an infrared emitter LED and an infrared receiver. So the way this works is the infrared LED puts out light and if there is an object in front of it then the light is being reflected back to the um, infrared receiver and the signal from the infrared receiver goes then into this uh, op amp here that is wired up as a comparator and this op amp basically makes a decision whether there is enough light or not enough light coming back and then um, it puts out a uh, output signal which is either 5 volts or uh, 0 volts. There's also this LED here that's also uh, driven by this op amp so every time there is an output signal that says there is an object the LED is being turned on so you can immediately see that the sensor um, is working. Here is the distance adjust potentiometer. You can adjust the sensitivity of this op amp. So with this here you can basically make sure that what you want to detect under a certain uh, um, ambient light condition can actually be detected uh, reliably. That's especially important if you use it for line following because with line following you have to detect a contrast between the dark line and a brighter, uh, lighter colored uh, background. And so if your sensor doesn't uh, switch the LED depending on the line is present or not, or object is present or not, then uh, adjust this um, potentiometer until you get here a reliable signal on the LED and that tells you that you will also get a nice output that can be detected by the Arduino. Okay, we have another LED here, this is the power LED and this power LED of course shows you that the sensor is connected properly to 5 volts. So you connect the 5 volts from the Arduino to the VCC pin and the ground pin on the Arduino to the ground pin of this uh, sensor. And that's it, a very simple module, uh, but very useful. Okay, this is my setup. And so here you see I plugged in the uh, orange wire to the uh, five volt pin and the uh, blue wire to the uh, ground pin. It's always good to use a bright color for the voltage and a darker color for the uh, ground pin. And then that goes over here to the um, ground and VCC pins of the sensor. So five volts, the orange one goes to VCC and the blue one to ground. And then I connected here the um, output pin of the sensor to pin number 12 on the Arduino board. So let's see what happens when I plug this in. I already put a little sketch on this Arduino. And so you see here that the LED is on and there is no reaction uh, to my finger on this uh, sensor. So let's see if we can adjust this. And so I put a screwdriver here into this potentiometer. And see here now the LED goes off as I turn this potentiometer down. And so now we can kind of play with it. See now under this light condition and this potentiometer setting, um, the sensor is working. And you see also here that on the Arduino, the built-in LED, which is on pin 13, here on this pin, the LED is directly connected. So you can always use that very conveniently to test um, your um, sketch on the Arduino. And so you see that this LED turns off when I uh, put my finger here in front of it. So every time it detects an obstacle, then the LED goes off. So let's have a look how this works um, in the uh, sketch that I uploaded to this Arduino. Okay, this is my little sketch. It's a very short one and simple one. So I start out with two define statements. These are pre-compiled statements. So here basically I just assign the name infrared sensor out to 
the number 12. And so down here then, uh, when the uh, code is being compiled, every time there's an uh, infrared out in there, it changes it into a 12 for the compiler so that the microcontroller understands what's going on. So anyway, so I define pin number 12 uh, to be connected with the IR sensor output and pin number 13 is the one that uh, drives the onboard LED. And so here in the setup, I'm using these defines now to define the pin modes. So the infrared sensor output pin number 12, uh, of course, needs to be an input because we want to read out the sensor, what it puts out, right? So the Arduino needs to input this, uh, um, this sensor signal. And the LED pin, on the other hand, uh, of course, will make an output because it's supposed to drive that connected LED. And then I use a digital write to uh, make this pin zero volts. So I write it logically low, that means zero volts on the output, on the, on the pin, and that makes sure that the LED is off. Now down here in the loop, so remember the setup is only ex uh, executed once, so this is why we put all these assignments in there, and then the loop here, that is executed repeatedly until you unplug the Arduino, essentially. And so here I have just two um, if conditionals in there that basically examine the state of that uh, uh, IR out pin number 12. And so I use digital read and uh, for, that, for that pin. And then if this gives me a one, so if it's equal to a one, that means there's five volts on that pin. Then um, I uh, write here the uh, onboard LED high so that it goes on. So uh, the, the onboard LED pin uh, has five volts after this, after executing this command. Now, if the uh, infrared uh, uh, output pin is uh, zero volts or logically zero, then uh, I turn the LED off. And remember, um, the infrared sensor basically puts out a one if it doesn't detect anything in front of it, and it puts out a zero if it detects something. So the LED is on in this case. The LED that's on the board, on the uh, on the infrared sensor uh, board, is is uh, on in this case, but the uh, LED on the Arduino board turns off, so that gave us this uh, ping pong effect that when the LED on the sensor went on, the LED on the Arduino board went off. So this is what's happening here in this loop. And this concludes my demonstration of the infrared sensor. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.